Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm up here on Guinella Pass, uh, on the mountain overlooking Georgetown, Colorado. I gotta show this to you guys, it's so cool. It's this historic old little town. Um, all throughout the town, there's old buildings and uh, historic, historic buildings and everything. I mean, this would be a perfect place for someone that's into uh, metal detecting as far as like door knocking and stuff. But uh, that ain't me. So I decided to come up here to the mountain and uh, go geocaching a little bit. Hopefully they bring me to a cool spot that I can uh, take the detector and maybe we can find some relics that way. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully we find, get some, have some luck. I, I've been uh, skunking out a lot doing metal detecting, so maybe we'll find something good today. All right, guys, enjoy the video. All right, so this is like the first pull-off, and supposedly this is um, the site of a, an abandoned mining town called Silverdale. And there's a geocache here, about 400 feet, um, yeah, this way. So here's a little trail here. Caches off to the left a little, but. Looks like a pretty neat little trail. Let's take a walk. Wow. That is probably, that big piece of pipe right there is probably from the olden days. From the mining camp that was here. That's pretty cool. Let's keep following the trail, see where it brings us. What? Did I just find coal? It sure looks like coal. It's not charcoal. That is coal for sure. If anybody knows why there would be coal out here in an abandoned mining town in the middle of Colorado, please let me know in the comments. I'm from the East Coast. I used to work with coal all the time. And this is the first time I've ever seen coal in this state. So we're about 10,000 feet above sea level, a little bit higher. So the plants and stuff here are a little bit different. Notice there's a lot of moss. A lot of smaller pines. We got some, some juniper berries here. A whole lot of them. Here's some mountain flowers. I'm not sure what kind. There's a ton of different ones. Somebody was digging. Little swampy there. There's a little bridge. Cool here. All right, we're twenty feet away from it. 
so it should be right around here somewhere. Probably right back in these woods. All right, I think I found it here. This pile of rocks looks really suspicious. I would guess it's right under here. Hmm. Well, I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again. Well, there it is. I went all the way up the hill. I was all over the place, but there's a geocache. Uh, the only problem is none of these trails are marked, and so I looked at my phone, and sure enough, wherever it is, there is a geocache up here. So, so we're here. I could, and I noticed it up here in the woods. I could see it through the trees. You might not be able to see it on camera, but we're gonna we're gonna see it here together. Yeah, it's a big concrete structure over there. I'll get the geocache later. Check this out. Here we go. There's some old relics. Looks like looks like these are old pieces of a barrel. A wooden barrel. Look at that. Now this stuff isn't 1800s. Uh, this stuff is from the 1920s. This place operated uh, according to the information thing, 1920s. Look at this. Of course, I'm not gonna metal detect up here. It's protected land and it's a historic site. So, I mean, obviously it's not a good idea to metal detect. It would be mostly junk anyway, big pieces of iron. It'd be really hard to find stuff. But yeah, look at that. Stuff is still laying here for almost a hundred years. And there's stuff everywhere. Let's go explore that thing up there. Yeah, this is a foundation here too. I guess it was the mill. Check this old can out, just laying here. Look, look at that. That's awesome. Look at this here. There's an old mattress in there, an old spring mattress. Yeah, let's go check that out now. Yeah, look at that, guys. It's like a, uh, I mean, it's not ancient, but it's 1920s. Hey, anybody remember the S thing? I used to draw that in school, too. No idea why. This place is awesome. Threaded pipes coming through the ceiling. Probably had something to do with the, uh, you know, refining the gold. People have been down here with giant fires just cooking the place. They had fire so big, started destroying the, the ceiling here. That ain't cool. I 
just scared that heron. He was right here. Anyway, this is what it looks like from above, and you can see the cover the sun. There's the tailings right there from a gold mine. But this is what the ceiling looks like, the roof, the top. There's another angry squirrel. But yeah, here it is. Colorado Central Mill. Don't think it's safe to walk on the roof, so I won't. That's the ruins over there of the mill. And over here is the geocache, just in case we were wondering. Yep, found it. Silverdale is nowhere on that map. So I guess that about ends the video. It's pretty cool here. I mean, there's a ton of stuff to explore around here, but the sun is already behind the mountain there. It's gonna be getting dark pretty soon. And uh, turn the camera around. That is all I got for you guys today. Um, we skunked out a metal detecting, but we found a cool abandoned 1920s gold mill. So anyway, guys, once again, I appreciate the support, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.